I did a video um, about two weeks ago now and it was a, just showing a, a tractor tilling the soil of the field and uh, just talking about the differences between um, the live active soil um, at home and compared to the um, well basically the lifeless soil you get in farmland um, but you know with all the nutrients and everything like that the, um, the actual plants have responded quite well so getting germination times as good as you would um, at home so about you know seeds were planted two weeks ago or so and they're already up and we just um, it's just lack of the what I mentioned before just lack of diversity in the soil lack of worms and um, other life in the soil as well and plus the they just completely drenched the whole area with weed kill before the um, before they dug it all up and then um, added liquid manure and um, fertilizers and uh, and then seeded it as well so um, it's doing it's doing all right to be fair the actual field but it's just I prefer things just um, perpetuating and um, and getting food that way and for the the land not to be dug as much um, you know possibly new farming methods and maybe instead of like pesticides maybe like looking at um, a breeding program for ladybirds or ladybugs and um, and you know seeing that as an alternative uh, for pests and um, and looking at um, a no dig farming methods and looking at different crops which uh, sell seed as well maybe so something like miners lettuce maybe like that um, instead of having to plant things year on year and maybe having to change our eating habits but um, you know things have got to change eventually but um, I think between that and um, uh, aquaponic systems maybe uh, in your own house and even in um, high-rise flats where separate floors are given to uh, aquaponic systems would be um, an ideal farming method but um, I reckon that's about 10-20 years away at least we'll see